While Tesla is working so hard on bringing Optimus out, you know that NIO, EV manufacturer from China, is actually having human-like robots already working on the, on the lines producing the NIO cars. Let's talk about it. As you can see on the video that I'm running out, uh, I got it from, from Twitter, I've seen it somewhere. You already see humanoid bots, robots working on the lines, which is fascinating. And how they're actually bringing so much more into the profits of, Te of, of NEO. I was about to say Tesla, but no, they're not ready yet. In the video that I've seen, which apparently is from the States somewhere, media from the States, you can see the humanoids being there on the lines of Jack, who's the builder for, for Neo cars, and that's very good because that brings efficiency, that brings costs down, and that's obviously very profitable for Neo in case those humanoids are not just tested, uh, but they're actually doing so much for for the repetitive work which the human beings are actually struggling with. But I want to talk about Neo today. Is China an EV market still something that you would be interested in investing? Neo brings so much more to uh, to the table when it comes to EV. Obviously, they got such a huge market in China, and China has got so much more when it comes to EV because they're investing lots in the uh, green energy, which is debatable. We're not going to talk about that today. Uh, we're talking about the stake of EV sector, which is dropping dramatically, but there's still lots of talks about how they can actually optimize the EV process, make it more efficient, and having that uh, switch from ICE cars into the EV cars. And I think what NEO makes difference, they try to create that interaction between humans and the car and create an environment in which the car will probably be um, end up full self driving itself and the human, they'll just have to find a good environment to interact with the car and have that nice feeling that uh, instead of being stressed about going somewhere, you're going to relax sitting in the car and you're going to enjoy the uh, enjoy the journey. And that's what Neo is trying to do. Um, they they want to build that community engagement in which if you ever seen the Neo adverts and if you ever seen Neo's um, kind of presentations of new cars, their early shows, you'll see how much they engage on that uh, community level in which they try to uh, to bring the car to just emphasize the community and just help bringing up that. Some other thing that NEO is bringing to the table is obviously the innovative technologies that they're investing in. Um, apart from looking into how they can interact with the car and and have a nice experience in the car obviously neo is looking into first uh, full self-driving is also looking for how they can make the car more efficient um, which is one of the main keys of of their cars which is the high performance of their battery packs um, which compared with probably different other competitors i think neo is kind of top of the range when it comes to the high performances of it and one other thing which people might think it's not good or it might not be good in future is the battery swapping, which from my point of view, it has to be the way to go because if we can't find a way of fast charging the EV cars, this is going to be a bottleneck in future. Imagine all the cars on the roads having to wait uh, to charge for minutes, hours. This is not efficient and it's not going to be efficient until we don't find a solution for that. And I think battery swap is something that can actually be very good for, for the EV market. And I would say after Tesla failed big time with uh, the battery swap, NEO is kind of pioneering that. And the way that they swap the batteries, the way they, um, they manage that with the battery stations and the subscriptions with the batteries, I think is quite efficient. And I think it's probably something that more EV manufacturers are going to adopt in future. Well, it's... It's, it's not hard to see that probably NEO, when the China 
economy is going to uh, ramp up is going to be a good a good from my point of view and this is not um, financial advice but for for me it's a very good investment and i'm i'm keen on investing more even though from five dollars where they are now are going to drop to 50 percent i don't really care uh, i do think that neo is a great opportunity to invest um, and i'm invested in neo quite big i would say probably main or part of my main portfolio is invested in NEO uh, because I do think, I do believe in the technology. I do think that expansion in Europe and the fact that they kind of got through Europe, through Scandinavia, now in Germany, Netherlands. I even saw a NEO car uh, in Timisoara in my birth city when I, uh, when I was there. Um, it's very interesting to see NEO cars and when I actually got to see it myself, I was very impressed with it. Um, I didn't wait for the guy who was driving it actually to arrive to the car, but I, I had a very good look inside, have a good look around it. Uh, it's very good, it's very interesting. It feels like a stable car. It's like when you take a product in your hand and you feel like it's a good product. Um, that was my feeling with actually the live interaction with the car. Um, and the fact that they're here, the fact that they, they are already in Europe and the fact that uh, they have a huge market in China, it's a very good uh, opportunity, I would say, for me. And hopefully when the economy is going to, uh, going to get stable in the first place and then going to ramp up and probably China try to find ways of bringing up the economy back to where it was, NEO is going to be a very good investment for that. And I don't want to miss this train because... Uh, Looking at technology, looking on the way they're investing, looking at efficiency and the fact that they bring humanoids into their factories and uh, having to uh, negotiate with Jack and try to reduce the costs of uh, building the cars. This is only good signs of a good company, of a good uh, strategy, then bringing the cost down and obviously raising the profits, which is what everybody should actually do. Uh, NEO is, is for me a very good opportunity and I would love to be able to invest more in it uh, and if you think it's a good company let me know I would love to know what else do you know about NEO that I should talk about uh, because I'm going to talk more about companies that I invest in and companies I like um, don't forget subscribe to my channel if you like to talk about all sorts of different other companies stocks crypto and other bits that I enjoy talking about um, subscribe and let me know what else you would love to see on this channel. Uh, till next time, don't forget, look after yourselves and your families. Stay safe.